All right, hello and um, welcome to Crusader Kings 2. We're going to be playing a uh, a Noob Island playthrough. Um, sort of a, not necessarily a total tutorial, but kind of. Um, just as a thing for if new if you're a new player, uh, just sort of know how to do some basic things, hopefully uh, clear up some things, because obviously there's a lot of little nuances to this game. Um, and hopefully we're successful. It, of course, would be very ironic if, as a tutorial to show people how to play, I screwed up, but it might still be entertaining. We're going to start at the High Middle Ages start, um, just because it's a little easier, because you don't have to worry about Vikings. Um, anytime you're on Ireland, since you're a one or two province um, minor, uh, if a Viking were to a site, it's like, let's say we start at this point, and we decide to play as this fellow here, if one of the Vikings decided to attack us, because they can, uh, you know, we that almost certainly would be a loss right out the gate, and just, that'd be potentially annoying. But, the reality is, most of the things that we'll do here are fairly transferable to the other starts, until later on, like, England has a bunch of Ireland, and then it's, yes, like, here, obviously, that's less true, because England's got a bunch of Ireland, but, um... Uh, you know, at the, it's like at this start, or anything earlier than that, and particularly, um, when you go further back to the early Middle Ages or the Viking Age, um, there's definitely a lot of overlap. The main difference between this start and the earlier starts are that, uh, at the earlier starts than this, so at, whether it's the Viking Age or the early Middle Ages, you would be starting as a tribal government instead of feudal, and that changes some things, but most of the basic points would still stand, so. We're going to play as the Duke of Mumu, King of Merchad of Mumu, um, just because then we've got two counties, once again, this is probably who I would recommend for a newer player to start as, and that's who we're going to roll with. We will hopefully play at least until we become the Kings of Ireland. Uh, possibly a little longer than that. We'll see exactly how it's going, but that's sort of the basic goal. Create Ireland, and then hopefully we've done enough that um, any new players watching this would get a basic understanding of, you know, sort of how to do things. We are not going to ruler design, um, just because, just for a little added potential difficulty. If you were to ruler design, however... I would definitely focus on having a high marshal first off, and then anything else you can kind of do as you'd like. I wouldn't focus too much on learning, and I would focus on marshal. You can give yourself high diplomacy, stewardship, or intrigue as you desire. Uh, depends on how you want to be able to play. Uh, but I'm not going to bother with it. You certainly don't have to. So, yep. And um, as for all of these, we're going to leave everything pretty much how ever on the basic the only thing we'll change is we'll have shattered retreat off if you want to go for um, achievements you can go for achievements with the shattered retreat off but we're going to leave everything else on um we probably won't play long enough that the sun tech that the <laughs> the sun the sun tech that the sunset invasion will actually matter so we're not going to even worry about that and hey if we do play that long it'll be an interesting thing to deal with uh but other than that shattered retreat turning off is the only thing we're going to change and we're turning it off just because I think that it's annoying in this game. We are not going to play, or I am not going to play with Iron Man on. Um, it just, because the game is constantly saving, it just potentially slows the game down a little bit. As for frame rate and whatnot, and since we're just recording, not worry about that. So, the stats for this character are randomly rolled. So we'll see exactly what we get. Um, once again, if you were someone who you're new and you want to make sure you get it good, if you're not going to rule or design, um, I would recommend potentially restarting if you get a guy with a really bad martial score. I'm not going to, hopefully. Um, yeah, so we'll see what stats we got. Um, decent. This is generally about where he ate, this guy rolls. Um, I just I did a couple of starts and restarts just to see... Um, he's generally pretty decent at most things, but not all that good at any of them. So, we're definitely going to pick War for our focus. Once again, give us extra Marshall, and here's why. So, your levy size 
um, is affected by your owner martial skill. So here you can see that we have minus 5% levy because we have a bad martial skill. Our martial skill is 9. That's actually that terrible. But regardless. And so every because everybody is a one count, one pro, one county guy, um, except for us, we have two, but it's a vassal beneath us. So, not, And he is trash. Why is it so bad? It's really bad. But we have one guy beneath us, but he's a vassal, so he doesn't help that much yet. Uh, but regardless, um, because of that, everything is pretty even if you look around at everybody's levies. So every single soldier helps. So that's why if you were ruler designing, try and give yourself a high marshal because it would give you a bigger levy, which will make things a lot easier for you. And um, if you aren't ruler designing, if you get a guy with a really bad marshal, and you end up with like, it's like this guy's got a levy of only 400, um, you'd be, that would make it significantly harder if that was the case. So if you get a guy with a really bad marshal, you might want to just restart and hope for something better. So, yeah, we're going to jump right into it. Um, first things first, we're going to set up our council. Um, we can, this guy's a vassal, so you probably want him on the council, but we can get a guy with 21 skill instead of just 9. So, uh, we're going to go with that, because that's a pretty significant difference. Um, and our expansion, so as you can see, so we're already the Duke of Mumu. And this guy here is already a member, a part of our du jour duchy. So we can already declare war on him if we wanted. You can see right here, du jour claim on Mumu. And we can't do it yet because we need some more prestige. But, um, yeah, so you can see we can already declare war on him. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, so we'll, we will fabricate claims on one of these four that we have um, a border with. We'll just go for whichever one appears to be weakest. He's got 710... 678, 778, 710. So it looks like we'll probably want this guy. So we'll start fabricating claims there. Our Marshall... We could get him a guy a lot better. But we don't want to take this guy off too much. Our Marshall, we will have trained troops... Um, in our capital, once again, that does make your levy slightly bigger. And once again, every single soldier matters at this point. Um, our steward is this mayor. We do not want him as our steward because he literally has zero. Um, what could we change him to? We'll make him our spy master because he's actually got seven injury. We want him to stay on our um, council. But we can't. We, we're not going to have a guy with zero stewardship as our steward. So, we'll have this guy. Well, this guy's not even on that. So, he's actually our best one, though. So, we'll have him collect taxes in our capital, potentially get us some extra money. Our spy master, we will have go and try and steal technology. Normally, you want to get them all the way to Constantinople, but we cannot quite reach it. So, we'll just go to Rome um, to try and get that. Oops. And our court chaplain will have, is actually good, so that's nice. We'll have him just do that, just hunt apo apostates, apostates, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and just for the monthly piety, that's fine. Uh, we don't really need anything else beyond that. Uh, for our ambition, we will pick... Um, hmm. We'll pick build a war chest. I doubt we'll be able to get it, but we'll do it anyways because we don't have any particularly good ones. Um, we already have an heir. If you ruler designed, you will not have an heir already. Um, since we do have an heir, though, we will probably avoid getting married ourselves so we don't have to risk having any more sons. As for our son... Um... We will get him married to the princess of Norway here. Um, in the current build of the game, Norway very often seems to win the Kingdom of England, so it will be helpful to have, potentially be able to get an alliance with them. And once again, we probably, unless we can maybe get someone who's old. Um, yeah, she's pretty old. She's past childbearing age. I think in this game, childbearing age is 44. I think. I don't actually know for sure, though. 
We'll risk it. We'll go for this woman. She's got pretty good stats. So that will make our um, our state stats better. Uh, so we'll go for her. And hopefully we don't put a baby in her. And we'll also get some prestige from it, so that will be nice. And then special minor, minor titles. Because we don't have any big, powerful vassals, this isn't that big of a deal, but we'll just do it anyways, because why not? We will auto-assign commanders, um, just because we don't have to worry about that. We'll just kind of make that that, and there we go. Um, and then the other thing we'll want to do right at the start, click to choose a plot. We will want to create the plot to revoke the county of Urmuhahai. Um, so even though, under our laws, we're not actually allowed to revoke titles, um, you can always do a plot for people, I believe it's if they're inside of your, a duchy that you control, you can revoke their titles. Um, I think also you have to be below your domain limit, which our domain limit is only two, which is a bummer. Um, but so even if you're not allowed to revoke titles, you can do a plot for it. And also, if you succeed this way, you will not get the uh, tyrant modifier, so you won't piss off everybody and your all of your vassals. Um, this guy will maybe join, so we'll have to send him a gift to make him like us a little bit more. Expensive, but we'll do it anyways. We'll just click auto invite. And, yeah, so I think we're ready to start. So we've got our council set up. Um, we've got our, yes, yeah, so we've got our council set up. We've started a plot to get another county, uh, because that second county will be a big help. His, and yeah, our levy is really, really bad. We'll be, I'll be tempted to borrow money from the Jews, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. Because we won't be able to just, um, we won't be able to boot them. But we'll see. We can start moving a little bit regardless. Probably put it above one speed. Um, we're not going to bother to sh recruit a court physician yet. Um, it is everyone's concern, of course. And also, I'm now married, so our, all of our stuff is a little bit better. So our state stewardship went up, so you, as you can see. So now we have a domain size of three instead of just two. Uh, so our levy could now get up to 812, which is good. We will probably let that get up before, you know, we might actually just go for this. Um, living dangerously. One thing we're going to do, this is a little bit gamey. So this is, this is this guy's levy. So this is actually coming out of his soldiers. So we're going to actually be a little devious. We're going to send it up here. And then we're going to disband it once it gets there. So as only half of it goes back. Because it's not in our land. And um, then he'll have less soldiers. See, it's only 86 of them will return home. Right, so we're going to go for this. He's got a tiny levy. So we'll revoke that. Right, then war it is. And we've got quite a few more soldiers, so we should be good here. Oh, he was a marshal. We want a new one. Can't find anyone who's um, a loyalist. That's the heart. If you can get a loyalist on your council, that's always a good thing. This guy's discontent right now. Oh, he'd actually, he actually would be pragmatic. Ah, uh, we won't actually put him on. Um, we'll put this fellow on, and we will have him do the same thing, where he will go and train troops. And we should have this battle pretty well in hand. Yes, we do. Um, and we'll just follow him, and we'll play some ping pong with his army until we wear it down and kill him. Um, sometimes when you're going to revoke a title, it's a good idea to raise your troops and just go sit on the county before you actually do it. Then you'll seize it right away and you won't have to fight any battles and can often save you some soldiers. Um, we'll put him in charge. Too. 
But in this case, we didn't because we wouldn't have had enough guys to besiege his um, county otherwise. So we'll just fight these battles first. We'll just um, smash his army to total totally to pieces before we go and siege down this county. Um, that's fine, I think. Because we don't have, I guess we have very little cavalry. We've only got 148, 40 light cavalry. Because of that, we're going to... Oh, my commander was killed. Well, that's a bummer. Because we have such little cavalry, we're not going to kill very many of them on the retreat. But that's okay. We need a new commander. Let's make our kinsman a commander over there. Uh, but, so it's slow, it's slow going, but it's okay. So yeah, so if we didn't have Shattered Retreat, if we had Shattered Retreat on, you can see how few guys were killing each time, even though they're already retreating immediately. Um, so Shattered Retreat just, it makes it such a pain, particularly early on in the game. So that's why we're just not worried about it. Oh, one thing I forgot to do, set the Crown Focus in our capital. Um, that doesn't do a lot, it just makes it more likely to get um, good events. It should only need one more go here to totally finish them off, hopefully. All right, there we go. We've got enough guys to siege that down, so we're all set there. We'll actually go right ahead and speed this up while we wait for that. I'm fatigued. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I really just do not die yet. We will want to start looking at laws once this is done. Try and change something. We'll probably go for a, a council title. Um, because of the fact that we don't have that many more guys and they have garrisoned, the siege will go very slow. If the sender cannot hold, ooh, that's definitely what we'll want. That's a really good trait to have. Ah, I feel better. The war for England is still ongoing. Harold still owns it. Oh, Harold beat. Um, William, it looks like. But he's also... Oh. Oh, wow. That might explain... Okay, House of Godwin might actually hold this. Because he got an alliance with France. That should help him. And son of a bitch. We don't have enough to... We don't have enough guys to siege that down. We should get a ticking war score, though, I'm guessing. Can we just enforce lands? He won't. Um, hopefully we have a ticking war score. If not, we can just re-raise our levies in a bit. How many guys are there? May actually be able to just re raise already again and go back. Perhaps. Oh, we're not quite there. All right, 864. So our levy will get large enough that we can get that, but it'll just take a little bit of time, I guess. That's really a bummer. And it actually looks like we don't have a ticking. Oh my gosh, we don't have a ticking more score. So that will slow us down a bit. That's for sure. Um, I don't mind if I get the trait content. Uh, usually you'd rather be ambitious, but content is not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Oh, he raced some guys. Perhaps we can go... Oh, and we have enough now that we can siege that place. Hopefully by killing these fellows we can... That would give us a hundred war score, maybe? Hey, It did. We'll enforce those demands, get that county. Now we have two counties to work with, and our vat and our levy is much larger now. 
Um, with that, we should be much more powerful than anyone else here. And we potentially could just offer vassalization to him. Nope, he's going to decline that. Uh, we'll give it a little bit of time before we attack him. We'll let our levies recharge. Um, we are going to put our trained troops in this other county, though, because one of the things is levy reinforcement rate, plus 70%, you can see there. Um, and because the levy is all the way down, that will help it go faster. Oh, dear. Which is helpful. Um, we're going to have a look at our laws real quick. Um, well, we're going to focus on council laws first, because council laws are annoying. Um, the way that it works, so you can see all these ruler, 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 and then, oh, I've invited people in my court to take part in a war game in which we practice defending our land from invading our armies. All right, this will be fun. Um, may the best warlords win. So the ones that have council checked, you need the council's permission to do, and the ones that have ruler checked, you can just do on your own. So you want to get to the point where you can just abolish council power. Makes everything much easier. Um... We'll slowly withdraw. So that's going to be hard to do, but we'll look into it. We'll do that. We'll prepare a counterattack. And we won! We managed to break the opponent's center, giving us the opportunity to subdue their split forces with ease. We stand uncontested as victors of the war game. You know how we do. Hina. So I could just go in here and... You can just request council support, but I generally like to avoid that because then they you owe them a favor and they can screw with you. Oh, we got a claim. That is good. That is good. And, um, all right, that's good. Yeah. Then we will go here next. Because you can see this guy now has two counties. He took that one over. That is going to be a little bit worrisome. Um, as he will potentially be a rival for us now, but hopefully not. How many soldiers does this guy have? 716. He doesn't have any allies. I'm awful tempted to just go for it. Nope, we will be disciplined and wait for our levy to regenerate. Um, one thing to note, particularly, now he's not too old, he's only 42, but, so, claims that are fabricated, they will not be inherited by successor, you can see this, will not be inherited unless pressed in war, you can look, see, see that for any claim you have, um, so, like, if I continue to get older, if you're split between a de jure claim and a just fabricated claim, press the fabricated claim first, because this de jure claim, this guy will, that's not going anywhere. Um, until he is a part of our duchy, until he is a part of our realm, as long as he's in our duchy, we'll be able to fight him for that. So, if push comes to shove, you want to press that first. And this guy's a little bit weaker. So this might actually just be the better option outright to do first. Our son had a son. We will name him Joe. Uh, it looks like it's going to be hard to do that. Is there anything else we want to do? Could we get that? We could probably get centralization. We might just go from that. Oh, we can't even get centralization. Wow. I will write a complaint. Well, our council does not like us very much, it seems. Um, Alright. Oh, Norway did end up winning. Alright, so there we go. Norway has England. They usually don't seem to be able to hold on to it for very long, but for at least a few decades, that's going to be Norway on and off. So, yeah. So it'll be handy to have him as an ally, theoretically. We're not going to form an alliance with him yet, though. Uh, we'll form an alliance with him if we think we need it, because otherwise he'll start calling us into all of his wars, and that would be annoying. Right, we're over a thousand. I think we might just take it to this guy. He's only got 716. Because he's got a bad marshal. Yeah, I think we're going to take it to this guy.
Right, so declare war, raise your levies, and in we go. We'll wait for all of them to get there. Right, we've got an extra couple hundred dudes. Um, oftentimes you want to avoid leading your own armies because you can die, but in our case, we're going to take it because first off, we've got a decent marshal, but we've got the uh, direct leader um, modifier, so we want to be leading the center. And also because we have an heir who's fully grown, our succession is very safe, so we're not that worried about dying. Um, and once again, the margins are small, so any advantage you can get, you take. And because we've got that nice modifier for leading the center, we definitely want to be there. Okay. And we managed to slay the Earl. That doesn't actually help us much. Um, theoretically, it actually hurts us because their marshal is now better. But whatever, doesn't really matter that much. We're going to go right ahead and play some ping pong with this army. Ooh, I've become a more proficient. I'm now a brilliant, a skilled tactician instead of a tough soldier. That's good. That's good. And we'll just go right ahead. Um, what do I want to become? Inspiring leader, siege leader, organizer. Um, these are all pretty good. They're all really, these are all solid. I think we'll go for inspiring leader. They will go inspired. Those are all solid, though. You wouldn't really go wrong with any of them. But we went with Inspiring Leader because, as you can already see, most of these smaller wars in the early going, um, the war is going to be largely decided because they're such small armies and everybody's pretty much got one. All these wars are pretty much going to be decided by an initial engagement. And then they'll we'll play whoever wins will just play ping pong with the opposing army that's left over, and um, so it's going to be important to make sure that we win that initial engagement, and so that will be better. Ooh, I'm now brave as well. This is going very very well. Um, this is an advantage. It's not necessarily just because I picked war focus, but any of the focuses you pick. Um, you will get, be more likely to have events that will make you better at whatever that thing is. So that's another advantage of picking War Focus. So, yeah. So we're all the way up to 18 Marshall now, so particularly... And we've got another claim! We like that very much. And we'll do the next one on him. Oh man, this is really working out well. Um, so now we're just sieging down this place. He has no soldiers left, so it's just a matter of time. So we'll go right ahead and speed this up. Because we're already all the way up at 75%, I would guess that after this castle we'll have him at 100% already. But we'll see. Um, although after this war, we'll be at about 30 minutes, so we'll probably call that an episode. We'll let this get wind down and finish up. <laughs> wonder if anything else of interest is happening in the world. Oh, I'm not shy anymore, either. Wow, this is really going well. Maybe this is going to be a bad walkthrough because things are going almost too well for me. Um, you know, and that's something about this game. There's a decent amount of randomness. So, like, it's entirely plausible that I would have died in these battles leading the center instead of becoming way better. <laughs> Uh, and that's just, it's kind of just luck of the draw. So, that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Right? We are at 100% already because we beat up his armies already. So we're going ahead and enforce demands on that. Which will give us their county directly because we had a claim on it. And, uh, we may actually want to just turn him right around and attack this guy. How many dudes do we have total him? He 
he's got... Okay, um, so if you're curious if including their vassals, you can see there's troop total right here, army levies, that will give you an approximation. Or you can go to the realm tree and hover over him, and it will say, so you see the total levy of top liege is 911. Um, and then current levy. So, like, if they've been fighting a war and perhaps have lost some of their guys, you can see what their current levy is right there. Um, so, yeah, this has gone really well so far. Uh, we'll call that an episode. When we turn around, we will be declaring more on this guy and then probably eventually finally doing our de jure thing on him. Um, but that is good for now.